Hello and welcome back. So what is this WebRTC? WebRTC is stand for Web Real-Time Communication. Think as a JavaScript API which allows you to capture your microphone or your camera from your system without installing any plugin or software on your system. Just right from your browser you can call your API and get your camera or microphone and stream that data to other client. Because WebRTC is designed to work peer-to-peer. Let me explain peer-to-peer. -peer. So when there is no server behind your communication, like when you establish a P2P -P connection, there is no server behind your connection, it's become P2P. Like you can send your data or receive the data without having a back server, which actually your handles your request. But you need a server that actually communicate first from the other client, so you can actually establish a P2P connection. So WebRTC is a technology which is used to build powerful voice or video communication system just like a Google Meet or let's say Zoom or WhatsApp. WhatsApp is a basically good example. You can create a video or voice chat application to actually create a video sharing, audio sharing or file sharing application, right? WebRTC is a media engine with JavaScript APIs, so you can use that APIs to actually send your stream or your data because this will handle all the compression or the codes right from your browser to send it to other user. WebRTC also available on all modern browsers, so you can just use the WebRTC in your latest browser without installing anything. Just call the API and you get the your WebRTC in your browser. And let me show you how it works. So we have these two user, user one, user two. Let's say user one is actually want to call this user two because he doesn't know the user two to establish a P2P connection. He needs a server, the website. So here comes our website right here, the middle main, which handles our connection. This server knows this both connection, the both user who is connected to the website and it display in the user list on the, let for example, on the user one. And user one want to create, let's say, call a user one by clicking on that user and send a request. But what it happen, it will use WebRTC APIs to actually get the media information it want to send or IP addresses, port numbers, everything then send that to other client and that's an offer in our web RDC, when user want to connect to other user and send requests that's called an offer so it send an offer to the server and that server is called in web RDC signaling because we are signaling at the other user right so we have this signaling server and we uh, send that request which we get to the user and user get the request and uh, it actually create an answer using the WebRTC same process which which media you want to send code or everything like that so it send the answer so right after the answer it also wants to know the user public IP this user IP right so actually establish a peer to peer connection then it will also send another request which will be the user IP and port to that user and that user does the same and after that it establish a peer to peer connection to actually stream the data and then when the connection is established they don't need this server right they can communicate through the peer to peer without having the server and let me explain more about this how it works so we have the same user same two client the signaling server same process we create an offer but when we create an offer we have this process so we have this NAT the router the firewall every user behind the server firewall to get the public IP to actually send the public to the user to allow them to connect to our computer we need a public IP right 
to get the public IP, the public appearance, we have this stand server. The other server, online server. You can create the server or there's a lots of free stun server. Google also providing free stun server because it's cheap to maintain. And the whole job with this stun server is to actually return your, your public information to actually allow other user to connect to your computer. We get the, our public IP and we create a object, the WebRTC object to create a media information and we send that and that will be our offer. Uh, and this user does the same thing. So we have the information, we have the IP addresses, and we establish a P2P connection, right? But sometimes this stand server doesn't work because of the some the network provider is behind a very tough firewall. Then we need a relay server so we can relay on, right? When stand server fail, so the here comes the turn server. This turn server thing as a media server sitting on the cloud and the location handle that request or the media to send the user that is not a p2p but that basically do the job so what happened when our stun server failed to return the public ip we actually need to buy the stun server most of the case you don't need because only 30% of let's say 10% 30% user will ever need to actually Turn server, your turn server. This is actually need when you have a large application, or let's say when you go to online and you want to expand your application to a larger platform to create an uh, app like a WhatsApp. So you need a relay server. You don't want to lose any user user connection. You want all the users connected to your site. So you need this media server to actually send your data through that user. So that handles that way. So every user is connected, even the user who failed to connect, then we use as media server, that is stand server, that turn server, sorry. So I hope you understand. If you don't, you can just message me. I will I will explain you more. So who are using this WebRTC? And what WebRTC is used for? WebRTC is used for like cloud gaming. Yeah, good example is Google Stadia. Google Stadia is actually using this API, this WebRTC, to stream that game. Get the user input and send that to cloud to actually display the game, to stream the game on a 1080p, 60 FPS without any issue. So WebRTC is very powerful. And WebRTC is also used by Google Meet, Slack, a Facebook Messenger on mobile and Discord. WebRTC is also used for online gaming, multiplayer gaming. You can use that to create a lobby to actually communicate with other clients. And you can also create a P2P file sharing without having a touch server to actually send the file, right? You can open up your P2P connection and send the file or data to other client. And you can also create an application to share your screen with other client or can build a uh, application like watch movie with lots of user creating a party to actually watch movies videos together so web rtc is very powerful and web rtc is feature so that's going to be it for now and if you have any question you can ask me i will surely help you out so see you in the next lecture